All right, in the last chapter, we built something. And you might not have known what we built. We built something like we had a sensor. And the sensor, when it saw a change, made an event happen, like an LED turn on. What is that? Well, it's a nightlight. You made a nightlight. It's very cool that way. It's a very expensive nightlight. You know, we're talking like your nightlight's $29, and you could buy that same nightlight at Lowe's for probably 3 bucks. <laughs> but you made it, and that's what's fun about this. Also, later on, what I'll do is I'll show you how to transfer your... Um, prototypes over to a, a more or a smaller form factor a very cheap inexpensive form factor using an AT tiny 85 instead of using all this you would just need an AT tiny 85 and some power so well and your sensors too it, that's coming in the future but just for now, we're looking at code and hardware. That's a more advanced concept of moving this over to a smaller form factor. Our next mission is to have you understand counting. Okay, and that's now we have to back up just a little bit because what we, we're doing now is we're understanding that there's some kind of data here and we digitally wrote on and off, but now I have to teach you how to digitally write fade. I had to teach you mapping first, and then um, now it's counting. All right, so let's look at a very basic counting example in this video. Okay, we're going to put an integer called count out there and put it to zero, just like that. And then, down here in the loop, we're going to state, right after the read, that's why I like to put it, because right after it reads it, we want to count it, count the event. Count, plus plus. And then instead of saying serial print sensor data, I'm just going to have it but count. Now this is going to count incredibly fast. Too fast for us to even understand. So I'm going to put a delay here too. Just like that. Two, three, four, five, six. Why is this important? Well, what I want to do is teach you what a for loop really is. And a for loop will do something until it gets the job done. In other words, we, we studied a for loop before. It was called analog writing, where we made the LED fade in and out using a for loop but like what event happens well in that case it was it reached 255 the brightest that it could get for that amount of work in this case we're gonna have to teach it to count okay then we're gonna look at the analog right then we're gonna look at mapping and then lastly we're gonna look at averaging data all right, so for right now, this is counting. Memorize it, write it down in your notes, and let's go on. 